Hello, I'm Principal Davidson here at Bethany County High School. We truly believe that all our students should be safe, prepared, and proud. Here at BHS, we work very hard to add educational experiences that students can take with them throughout life for any transition they may face. Being part of the Bobcat family is a great honor, and go Bobcats. Our climate and culture here, you will be safe, prepared, and proud, proud to be a Bobcat. So welcome everyone to our school. One thing that makes our science classes in middle school so great is we have a new curriculum called Amplify Science. So it provides us with a lot of hands-on opportunities to explore. I, of course, get the option to teach some of the exciting classes, I think. I get to teach chemistry, physics. Ms. Turner's gonna be the teacher that's gonna let you make oatmeal, uh, excuse me, chocolate oat mold cookies because it's mold day in chemistry. Or I'm going to be the teacher that's going to run through the classroom going, oh, did you hear it? Did you hear it? That was the Doppler effect in, in physics. Music teacher at Breathitt High School for 15 years. If you want to be in band, you do not have to own your own instrument. We at Breathitt High School have a catalog of instruments that you can rent from the school. We have pottery, potter's wheels, we go through the whole process of learning to create uh, ceramic artworks. You get involved in the theater program here at Breathitt. It's not just about acting, although we have a, a very extensive acting uh, program with a lot of our class covers acting, uh, but we also do technical theater, which includes working with lighting and sound, uh, set, uh, set design, as well as props and costuming. My name is David Kyle Abner. I am the frame, a frame teacher here at Breathitt County High School. Frame, what it's built for is tier two and three interventions to where you have small group and intensive individual instruction to improve student achievement with the focuses of reading and math. Intervention program here has uh, just gotten underway the last couple of years, but it's uh, something that's really, I think, designed to uh, help kids that are a little bit behind in uh, math or reading. It's designed to where kids can enter the program uh, increase their uh, test scores, increase their knowledge in both subjects. I've been at Breathitt High School for the last two years and I couldn't have asked for two better years. I think that uh, we've got a lot of good things going on with our extracurricular activities, our uh, athletics, a lot of good things going on with our academic programs. I am humbled to be the superintendent of the Breathitt County Schools. We've seen a big increase in opportunity and access for our students. Our number of advanced placement courses have increased. We're just super excited what's going on for our students. Uh, we've got a lot of opportunities and access for extracurricular activities, and we've really been focused on our academic non-negotiables of providing strong instruction, keeping students engaged, Currently four programs that we're operating at the high school now. We've got the agriculture program with three different pathways. Students are really respectful for each other. They help each other out when they need to. Breathitt High offers a large range of electives and AP courses that you can take. Well, I want to be a veterinarian, so I'm on the animal pathway career. I've done animal technology. I teach both animal sciences horticulture sciences, as well as environmental science and natural resources. There are many different things that we cover, such as uh, greenhouse maintenance, uh, growing and preparing plants for harvesting. We actually do some sales into the community through our greenhouse with our horticulture science pathway. Uh, I started with the Jackson Police Department. I spent 25 years with the police department. I had held various jobs from dispatcher to chief of police. Right now I teach uh, law enforcement, introduction to law enforcement, criminal investigations. We also got a lot of fun stuff on the side where we are actually doing some repelling and we're doing drill and ceremony and flipping rifles around and and we're also starting out with uh, eighth graders now this coming up year. I tell my cadets as soon as they come in here that this class isn't about anybody joining the army. It's a leadership class I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our tiny house project that we've got going on. 
We partnered up with KVEC three years ago, and this is our third tiny house. And we have three programs involved with this grant, carpentry, electricity, and business. Over the course of the past year, I've worked with the Department of Education as a member of the Commissioner Student Advisory Council, and I've also worked with the Pritchard Committee for Academic Excellence Student Voice Team. And I can tell you that Breathitt County has supported me in all of my endeavors, and I'm really grateful for that. I have been teaching at Breathitt High School for 24 years. We have AP Language and Composition, as well as AP Literature and Composition. We also offer dual credit classes. Our classes range from college level classes to AP courses to intervention classes, and we hope to meet the needs of all of our students. At Breathitt High, we do our credit recovery program, which gives kids who are behind for whatever reason an opportunity to get out of the hole and, and progress because, you know, at the end of the day, our job here, whether you teach or coach, is to graduate good, solid young men and women. And to do that, they have to have the opportunity to, to get out of any holes they may be in. I'm the high school girls basketball coach here at Breath at High. Students can expect to come out and get a heavy dose of exercise and conditioning. It's always great to be in shape and to be a part of a team that stresses leadership and communication skills and working together. I'd like to encourage uh, anybody coming to Breath at High School to, to participate in our athletic program. Uh, it, it, it does so many good things for, for our young people today, uh, teaches so many life skills and leadership skills. Um, you know, it, I definitely wouldn't be where I am today without athletics in my life. I have currently got 21 years in community service. A lot of volunteers who love to come and be a part of all the different activities, including uh, the backpack program, which we send 200 food, food bags home a month. We have a lot of exciting opportunities at Breathed High School. Um, some of the opportunities that I'm most excited about is being able to offer dual credit to all of our students. We have um, our Next Generation Academy. Those students can get that can earn associate's degrees by the time that they also obtain their high school diploma. I teach integrated social studies and AP psychology here and absolutely love what I teach. Um, we have a, a wonderful staff here. We have a, an exceptional social studies department. Students can expect in my classroom, I, my main goal for students is for them to be excited about history and where they've come from and that they learn that history is, is cause and effect and they learn the secrets of history and you know the, the underlying history and the other side of the story. We use the Engage New York curriculum for middle school math and I follow that. It's a very traditional paper and pencil classroom most of the time except for this year. I have my national board certification in mathematics. I teach 9 through 12 here. I teach geometry, algebra 2, trigonometry. Uh, we incorporate a lot of outside sources like uh, having comic books online for students to uh, make comics to uh, explain topics to us. Our main objective is to make our students able to be successful when they leave Breathitt County High School. Breathitt County as a whole has prepared me for my plans after high school and I know that um, every student can say that, that, that in some way they have been inspired and prepared for their plans as well. And Breathitt County High School is a great place to be a student. <laughs> I want to take a second to thank you for uh, joining us here and seeing a snapshot of our school, knowing that we have a whole lot to offer our students and our community and that we have a lot that you haven't seen today. Again, thank you and go Bobcats.